Hey guys, Scott here. Um, I am going to go over uh, a replacement servo for the dig feature on a Capra, the Axial Capra. Um, because I had a lot of issues with the Spectrum servo that they say you have to have for the servo um, protection or whatever that thing is. Anyways, um, yeah, so I, it only worked for maybe one battery pack and then it would kind of slowly stop working and when I would when I uh, took the capper apart to test it um, when I would turn the steering servo or the throttle then the servo would get real jerky and it just it doesn't work they're they're pieces of shit um, so uh, I'm going to show you kind of what I did uh, so here we go so here it is when I, I use the, uh, see if we can focus. Well, anyways, it's the Savox SH0263MG micro server. Um, yeah, so I just used the actual um, servo horn piece that it came with. Um, the little black piece that goes into this, you can't really see it. But I cut it just a little bit shorter, used this screw um, from the back side through this, this horn, and then just attach it to there. I didn't make any changes, it fits perfectly. The cable's actually long enough without an extension. And I just <clears throat> set the, the limits to the servo on my fly sky, which is super awesome, and here's how it works. So there we go. And you can see when I when I switch that from four wheel drive to dig, um, this is not really lifting, and so that's why I think I'm okay without the servo protector, because I've had it on for a while and just been switching it back and forth, back and forth, and it's still not even really warm. So there it is again. I and mean, I guess it's moving just a tiny bit, but the way I have it set up so that it, when it's in four-wheel drive and it's sitting here, there's no sounds coming from it, nothing. And I've had it on for probably 15 minutes before I started this video um, in this position in four-wheel drive. Um, and <clears throat> it's still not even warm. So when I'm using dig, which is, you know, maybe for a total like three minutes out of two hours maybe, um, you know, where it's, it's locked back, um, you know, if it warms up a little bit for 30 seconds, it doesn't matter. It's, I'm not going to burn up the servo. So screw that spectrum piece of shit servo. You know, I had it all set up, everything with the servo saver and it just doesn't work. It does not work. Um, I set the limits, everything, and it worked the first two times I ran this car. And then after that, it worked for like 20 minutes first 20 minutes and then after that it just it wouldn't work and then if i'm using the steering and the throttle at the same time the servo would just like uh, 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 uh. and so basically it was just no good and i've heard really shitty things about those spectrum micro servers um and you know this was i think 36 dollars. so we'll see how well this this works and lasts um I know the specs say it can only take 6 volts, but I believe you can actually run more, but don't quote me on that. Um, so, you know, there's, there's my fix. Okay, so I got the servo all installed, and I'm going to test it real quick in my driveway. So, before I show you, um, I have never been able to drive, engage the dig, and release the dig, and continue forward without having to reverse it slightly in order to get it to disengage dig so i did test this just a second ago before i started filming and it, it does work so i'm going to show you right now so i'll go forward engage dig continue disengage it and it just continues without having to reverse it just slightly which is amazing so i'll do it in a turning uh, radius as well so forward, dig, 
and without pressing um, reverse, disengage it and it just drives forward. So with that spectrum servo, it was never once able to do that. I always had to hit reverse just slightly to disengage it when it actually worked, which it barely did. So I would highly suggest doing this and spending the $36 on that Savox servo. So thanks for watching, guys.